So uh, this is Jasmine right here. You know, I want to start with Jasmine. Uh, look at the price of Jasmine. Uh, see what's going on in the daily and the weekly. So if I'm looking at Jasmine right here, and again, you know, very similar to what's going on with Bitcoin, uh, you can look at this as a potential, you know, bullish inverse uh, head and shoulders pattern. You know, this will be your left shoulder. This will be your right shoulder. And this is the neck right here. This is the way I'm looking at it. Now, you know, this is not confirmed because a lot of more data is absolutely needed. Uh, so we need Jasmine to go up, you know, and basically break above. And I'm going to look at the entire range. Like we need to break above this range right here between 20, uh, between 20 and, you know, 2160 something. You know, basically right here, guys. Uh, if we go up, you know, and break above this range right here, you know, this to me will confirm that this was indeed, you know, a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern. And that will mean that the price of Jasmine is going much higher. All right. So we just need to be a little bit more patient, you know, give it a couple more days for this to, to confirm. Another way to look at it is, you know, this is a new low. Uh, a lot of more data is needed definitely because you know, as far as I'm concerned, the price is still going down. I need to see a couple, you know, daily candles, maybe two or three, you know, going up. Uh, but this could potentially be a new low. And as long as this low is protected, right, as long as Jasmine doesn't come back and take out, you know, 1717, uh, you're looking at the beginning of, you know, a bullish Jasmine. If you look at the performance of Jasmine, you know, throughout this entire pullback, right, if you look at the entire box right here, you know, very consistent, guys. I mean, a classic downtrend right here, you know, a little bit of choppy, you know, sometimes, but very consistent in terms of, you know, lower highs and lower lows, you know, very, very consistent. So, you know, throughout this entire pullback, this really has never been a reason to be bullish on Jasmine in the short term. Now, you can be bullish in terms of this is a great opportunity for me to add on to my position, which is exactly what I talked about, you know, these last couple of weeks when Jasmine has been pulling back. You know, I've been here talking about Long term wise, what an opportunity this has been, and I continue to believe that this is the case. But short term, or short term trading wise, there has never been a reason, you know, to be bullish on Jasmine on the daily, you know, especially looking for a sustainable daily uptrend. All right, none of the moves has been sustainable. None of these moves right here has been sustainable. And when you are in an environment like this, the best, thing to you, the best thing to do as a trader is to simply just stay on the sideline. Stay on the sideline. Don't try to be a hero. Because if you try to be a hero during times like this, you are going to get your head blown out. So the best thing to do is you stay on the sideline and you wait for the market to give you a clear direction. So far, there has not been a clear direction and if you've stayed on the sideline that has been the correct uh, the correct move you know trying to capture these in between moves right here you know very very impossible guys very 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 impossible so a couple of things i'm looking at is that potential you know head and shoulders pattern and also we can put a train line right here you know, we can look at it different ways. You know, I can go from right here, you know, touch these tops right here. And I can also put another train line right here, guys. I mean, so many ways to, you know, draw these train lines, but it really is not going to matter. But if we can break above, you know, this first one right here, you know, get above, you know, these resistance right here, you know, that could be something to get you excited. Uh, but I don't think you are going to be excited until Jasmine you know, truly breaks above you know, all of this noise right here, guys. You look at this box right here. There is a lot of resistance in there. I mean, take a look at how many times we've gotten rejected. You know, first time got rejected, rejected right here, rejected. That's three times right there. Rejected, rejected. That's five times, rejected. Six times, rejected. Seven times. We co continuously got rejected in the same box, guys. So we got to break above, you know, recent weekly high basically this entire box right here you know for us to really see a sustainable 
uptrend in the price of Jasmine. And again, just like any other project, we can you know utilize a bunch of other indicators. If I'm on the weekly and I use the Bollinger Bands, I mean, take a look at what's going on right here. You know, you still got Jasmine in a bullish territory. As long as the price is, you know, above this orange line right here. So basically between the orange and the upper blue band, there is no reason to worry about, uh, about you know, the future of Jasmine price wise. Uh, and this represents, you know, an incredible opportunity for you to be a buyer right here. The same way, you know, this was a great opportunity for you to be a buyer right here. Uh, it's very simple, guys. I mean, if you look at the bear market, you know, so, so much different than, you know, a bull market. So during a bear market, you know, the price normally trades between, you know, the orange line and the lower blue band. And when you get a move like this, you know, anything that comes closer to the orange line, you want to short the market. All right. But in a bull market, you know, when you get a move like this, anything, you know, closer to the upper blue band, you want to think about taking profits and anything back to the orange line. This is where, you know, you want to be a buyer. So technically, <laughs> Jasmine looks incredibly bullish and there should be no reason. I mean, absolutely no reason to worry about Jasmine. Looking at the super trend. Now, this one, you know, a little bit all over the place. And that's because, you know, super trend has been bullish. I mean, honestly, since December 2021, uh, despite this, you know, 99% drop. So... You know, if you were buying right here, that was definitely not a great indicator back then. Uh, but the super trend looks, you know, really bullish right now. You know, the uh, the bearish comes in if Jasmine was to lose uh, 10.57. I mean, we are nowhere near 10.57. In fact, I don't think we're coming anywhere near these areas right here, guys. Uh, if I'm looking at the weekly MACD, again, this is a bearish confirmation right here. But... During a bull market, and when the MACD is above the zero line, you know, when you have a bearish confirmation or a bearish cross, it's really not something to be afraid of. What it mostly indicates is that you have a pullback coming in. Not a bear market, just a pullback coming in. And remember, the pullback can end anytime. And once this pullback is over, this MACD is going to reverse to the upside. So nothing to worry about right here. You know, RSI pullback. Again, RSI in a bull market territory. If the RSI was below the zero line, you know, that's a different conversation. If you look at the entire, bull, uh, the entire bear market, you know, Jasmine weekly RSI spent the entire two years, guys, almost three years, you know, below the zero line. That is where, that is when you don't want to touch Jasmine, right? When the RSI is below the 50 line is when you absolutely don't want anything to do with Jasmine. Uh, but back in October, you know, when I was screaming, buy Jasmine, buy Jasmine, because the lows are definitely in, you know, the RSI was breaking above the 50 line. And of course, you know, if you go from these levels right here, guys, you know, all the way up to the current price, I mean, we are up 387% and we are going much, 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 much higher. So let's talk about other projects because this is not just about Jasmine. There's a bunch of other altcoins that are, you know, looking lovely right now. Uh, the first one is going to be the graph. You know, we've talked about the graph. You know, I have been very clear that I think these are the lows of, you know, the graph pullback. Interestingly, you know, we're on the weekly right now. And, you know, look at these weekly candles right here, guys. Look at the last one, two, three, four, five weeks right now. You know, the price is really not going down. We are basically sideways. Uh, this to me tells me that this is a transition phase. You know, this looks like a market that has definitely bottom and a market that is building a momentum for the next weekly run. You know, to me, this is what it looks like. So my expectation is that we are going to see a continuation of this trend right here. And pretty soon, you know, especially if we break above, you know, 32 cents, we are going to start to trend up. You know, it's going to be a little bit more obvious. We are going to have one of these weekly candles that is going to blast us, you know, back above 40 cents. We are going to push above, you know, the previous weekly high. And we are going to run all the way up to a dollar, right? We are going to run all the way up to a dollar. 
if we go to the daily time frame, you can clearly see what's going on. And again, different ways to interpret all of this right here. You know, short term, <clears throat> excuse me, 32 cents is a major resistance. All right. But then we also have, you know, in terms of my bullish invalidation, you know, right now, you know, I'm still placing 